have a special relationship with Stuttgart. Coming here, in a sense, is a homecoming because your partner city, Bombay, is the city of my birth. This is how Prime Minister Gandhi prefaced his short but significant visit to Stuttgart on the first day of his West German tour. This tasty appetizer was followed by delicious entrees aimed at the sweet desserts of mutually satisfying and fruitful cooperation. Industrial organizations from your state were the most numerous among the participants of the techno Vierma Industrial Fair held in Delhi recently. We look forward to further developing commercial and industrial relations with your great economic enterprises. We have based our economic development on self-reliance, but self-reliance does not mean autarky. Our planning provides for economic and technological collaboration with others in accordance with our national priorities and policies. Our major challenge in India is how to modernize our economy and society without losing the thread of our unbroken civilization. Sometimes we feel that although ancient India has many attractions for the German mind, there is not enough knowledge of the India we are today building. Sometimes there are distortions of the image of India projected through the media. Democracy in India is, old, is almost exactly as old as the democracy in the Federal Republic. Our constitution contains provisions for center-state relations which bear strong resemblance to yours. We are proud of our democratic institutions. German high the following processes are run Japan in the vacuum the chamber. Best in the world. Heating, India is now high frequency enough cleaning, to invite collaboration in this field. In German private investment in India is a meager 2% of its overall figure in developing countries. Mr. Gandhi would like to see that figure improve substantially. The Germans now regard India as an immensely potential partner in economic terms, but feels that its procedures should improve. Under the German federal structure, the provincial leadership enjoys big powers and this, they are seen as kingpins who forge economic deeds. I am told Bavaria is home to a quarter of all West Germans working in electronics and electrotechnology. We are greatly interested in science and technology because the key to development is technology. Now that we have established a broad industrial base with a range of manufacturers, which is perhaps unmatched in the developing world, our stress is on greater efficiency. This calls for better technology and better management. In selected spheres, we would welcome German cooperation that would help increase productivity, reduce costs, and improve quality. Because we are keen on remaining self-reliant, we are somewhat exigent about the terms on which we accept collaborations. But once that is accepted, we can guarantee you a stable and secure partnership. Chancellor Cole's instantly positive response marks a rousing beginning to Mr. Gandhi's one-day visit to the West German capital, Bonn. This is the place from where much of the advanced technology is likely to flow, along with Tokyo, in the coming years. After the ceremonial welcome and the fanfare at Chancellor Cole's official residence in cloudy weather, the two leaders moved indoors, and the ambience turned not only sunny, but warm and bright, as Chancellor Cole later revealed in his address to newsmen. 
And I am filled by a sense of friendship. Und ich dachte während des Gesprächs, wir haben gerade weiter gesprochen, wo wir bei unserem letzten Treffen in Neu Delhi aufgehört haben. And during our conversation, I noticed that we took up the threads again where we left them in our last meeting in New Delhi. We have during these past years established fairly high levels of technology at the very frontiers in some spheres and we have a capability to deal with high technology and high technology industries. We feel that there is tremendous scope for cooperation between Germany and India in these areas. We talked about some of the problems in our region, some international problems. We will be continuing that conversation. investment in areas which will benefit our economy and help us reach our long-term goals. Our experience with German industry has been good. Indo-German collaborations have typically been in areas high on our priority list. There have been problems in the past, particularly relating to procedures and clearances. We have made them simpler and quicker. Those who do business with India also know that we have never defaulted in our payments or the repatriation of earnings. We tend to be more flexible with foreign investment which brings in new technology or makes a special contribution to exports. It is not our intention to follow an open door policy, but there is considerable scope for increasing the inflow. Our industry must have access to the most sophisticated technologies. We need to develop export markets and increase our foreign exchange earnings. India's is a large market in a stable political environment. Vertrauensbildung und fördern die enge Zusammenarbeit zum gegenseitigen Nutzen. It is a matter of profound significance that Germany and India were first drawn to each other by matters of the spirit and the mind. Goethe and Schopenhauer graciously acknowledged their debt to the ancient thought and wisdom of India. Max Müller became one of the greatest authorities on the subject. Paul Doysen's translations brought the treasure house of Indian philosophy into many German homes. Thomas Mann and Hermann Hesse transmuted into exquisite German literature the essence of the Indian heritage. The Republic and India have a common commitment to peace. We welcome the relaxation of tensions in Europe. We welcome the resumption of a meaningful dialogue between the Soviet Union and the United States, which has led to the first major agreement on dismantling an entire nuclear weapon system. We hope the momentum generated will lead to accelerated nuclear disarmament paving the way to general and complete disarmament. The choice before humankind is the choice between coexistence and no existence, the choice between the arms race and the human race. Can there be any doubt about the choice?
Mr. Gandhi topped off his three-day visit to West.